just arrived up here in the mountains, North Georgia, after several weeks of being down in Central Florida at our place down there. Uh, our garden here is in zone, what? 6B. Yeah, 6B. If you check out the rest of our channel, most of our videos are about um, uh, tropical, ornamental, and edible gardening in uh, Central Florida in zone 10A. So, I mean, this is real, real Pretty different. different. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we just arrived uh, late last night. We have a lot of food that we need to pick. Uh, I just want to uh, point out everything you're about to see, uh, well here and also on our property in Central Florida um, is grown organically. We don't use any any pesticides or herbicides of any kind, organic or other, non-organic or otherwise. Um, it's kind of uh, one of our missions here on the channel to uh, show people that you can get results and you can get food without using chemicals that could be potentially harmful to you the environment, your kids, your animals, uh, the and, water. and in future generations to come. So um, uh, without further ado, we got a lot of stuff to, to, yeah. to pick here. Let's, uh, let's um, get to it. We have our uh, peach tree here that is actually, you can see it's starting to snap. We should have propped it up. Um, it's loaded down with peaches, uh, including good peaches like these and um, tons of problem peaches like, like these. these. Uh, so we're going to get to that later. Um, first, I want to go harvest a bunch of stuff out of the garden. What yeah, do you think? Let's do, let's, let's do it. Raymond wants to pick peaches real bad. That one's not too bad. One. Probably could have waited a little bit on that one, but let's go get some stuff out of the garden. You want to start with this this little garden right here? Yeah, sure. I want to take peaches. Okay, sweetie. So this is uh, just one of our little raised beds. We got a couple things in here. We got different varieties of peppers. Reese, you want to come pick some peppers, kiddo? Um, we got tomatoes. Look at this tomato plant. We kind of let it run up this juniper here. And you can see it's all the way up here now. It's killer. We got tomatoes like in the juniper. We, we got a lot of water yeah. when we were gone, so they did split a little bit. That's yeah. all right, though. We were gone for a while. We definitely lost some stuff. When we, when we pulled in uh, last night, there was a deer just standing right over there. But luckily it didn't, the deer didn't get, we have a little garden bed over there we'll get to. Um, the deer didn't do too much damage to that one. Um, we're, we're lucky. We have this one fenced in, so they, they can't get in there, but they didn't do too much damage. All right, Reese. Reese has been waiting forever to pick some of these peppers. What do you got there, kiddo? Um, three Tabasco peppers. Nice. And Don't what other peppers here. do you have over here? You want to pick some of these? Um... This one doesn't look like it's quite ripe yet. Let me see. Let me show everybody. Which one. kind is that? It's the hot burrito pepper. Okay. And this is um, the hottest pepper I'm growing, the ghost pepper. Oh, man. Look at that. It's, it looks like it's hot and spicy. It's, it's all shriveled it's, up. It's turning like fire orange. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Is it ready to pick? Um, No. We're going to wait till it's red. And also, we're going to get a lot more of those peppers because there's like a billion of them. Oh, look at that. Look at them all. Oh, my goodness. So you're excited about that one. Is yes. that the Is that the one you're most excited about? Yeah, I'm going to make a hot sauce out of it. Sweet. Awesome. I can't wait. We like hot sauce in our family. So. Yeah, we do. All right, what do you got here so far? Um, those are all the tomatoes that are ready. Okay. I'm going to cut this um, romaine lettuce out right I, here. I assume we must have lost some tomatoes and they got eaten while we were gone because I can't believe there's not more um, just laying. Yeah, there's some down in here that we did lose. Doesn't seem like we lost a ton, though. We were gone for a while. What are you doing? What's that, lettuce? This is romaine lettuce. I want to make a salad for lunch. These are... Th this is... Uh, tops you just planted from the grocery store, right? This is just, yeah, I cut the... The, the heel off I, or whatever? I used the romaine lettuce for a salad and then um, the little bottom stump of it I planted and every every one of them grew. Trying to... Just gonna snap it? Yeah. This went any... to flower though. So. Yeah, I did. I see that. But the lettuce Man, I can't wait to try good. these ghost peppers. And we got a little eggplant over here. I don't know if it's... I'm trying to keep the roots in the ground. This eggplant's got a long way to go. Everybody look at this. What do you have, buddy? I got three peaches. Uh, you got three peaches? Yeah. In your book? No. Great. Yeah. In the basket, I got three peaches. Nice. All right, so that's enough for a salad for us. 
All right, let's go see what's in this garden over here. Right. I definitely saw, we got home late last night and uh, I mean, it was dark, so we, we couldn't really, I mean, I took a flashlight out here, but I know that we have some cucumbers. Tomatoes. Yep, tomatoes. Oh, there's uh, bees just all over the corn flowers right now. You should see them. They're all over the place, which has got to be good news for everything to else oh, in I here. Oh, I see stuff pollinating the squash flowers. Yeah. I don't know why the squash flowers aren't. Why we don't have any fruit? Why we don't have any zucchini. Maybe it just takes a minute. This is our little patch of three sisters here. We got another one here. The third sister's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> but they're still going. Like, look at this one. This bean looks good. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. You have some tomatoes behind you there. What variety are these? Some kind of... Uh... This is a lemon. Oh, these look good. Can I eat some of these? Yeah. Oh, man, this looks good. Oh, man. Oh, Can man. I eat one of them? Yeah, bud. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. you know, I saw some bigger tomatoes. Yeah, there's some right here. These look like, did you plant these for canning or something? Yeah. I mean, and eating. Yeah, we're we'll probably just eat, eat them. We're we're probably, eat we don't have it. This garden's not big enough where we're going to have to be canning stuff this year. Maybe next year we expand it, but I think we'll probably eat everything fresh, right? Yeah. Definitely. All right. Oh, we finally got some bell peppers here. These were the last pepper to go off for us. We've been picking jalapeno peppers and uh, these banana peppers over here yeah, for a while. Yeah, banana peppers. Yeah, there's, there's some banana peppers right here. These grow pretty quick. What'd you say, sweetie? He wants more. Here, take one. Um, and I see some jalapenos over there. Yep. Jalapenos. Oh, look at all the bees. Look at all the bees on the flowers. Look at the pollen sacs on that bee right there, you see? He's just like oh. loaded oh, down. Oh, yeah, he is. He's got like little packages. Uh -huh. It's like a motorcycle driver. Mm -hmm. Like little things on motorcycles. What are you getting over there? I'm getting some jalapenos. Where are they? Let me see. Oh, yeah, nice. Look at this cucumber. Whoa, that That's one is, big that is ready to go. Ready to go. Here you go. We ate one last well, you're night. You're going to need like a bigger basket. I need a bigger basket. Now, Brandon, can you bring that basket over here, sweetie? Yeah. Thank you. Don't drag it. Don't Please don't it. drag it. This is a basket that Anna, Annalisa made out of some wisteria vine. It's on our property. We'll never get rid of. But at least we found one use for it. Basket. All right, here's the here's this basket. You want me to take that one? Yeah, that one's. This one's full. full. We got all sorts of stuff in there. All right, that looks like lunch, eh? Yeah. That's great. Rose, what are you doing, sweetie? Huh? What are you doing? You see anything good? Let's see. Where can I put this? Here's some little selection of tropical plants that we brought up from Central Florida, from our property down there. Hey, Raymond, don't do that, please. Okay, the bugs are good for it, sweetie. If you shake it, you're going to hurt it. All right, there's got to be... I know there's cucumbers hiding. Yeah, if you I just go, got this one. Yeah, if you, I'm going to walk around to the outside because they're hiding back there. Yeah, I know. Yep, here's some out here. There's one down in the corner here you can probably get. Where? In, on the inside. Here's oh, one right, right here. Oh, there's two. What's this yeah, one look yeah, like? Yeah, that one looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have more little tomatoes? Let's see. Yeah, go for it. Oh, and there's a couple over uh, here. I don't know where your dad put the basket. I think we have a couple varieties of cucumbers, right? Oh, look at this one yeah, right here. Yeah, we have like a, an English type cucumber and, and a pickling. This one's stuck in the fence. Oh, I'll get it. There you go. Whoa. Right here. That's a big one. Here's it's another got one. Got a big dent from the. All right. Now look at all those. Cucumbers. Yeah, there's more if you keep going. I got all the ones out here. If you keep going, there's more cucumbers. Come on, Rosie. Come on, sweetie. The okra. Yes. Where is the okra? Right in front of me. 
Okay, here's one right here. That looks like okra, right? This little plant here. Yes. No fruit on it or no this okra. This one has it on it. There we though. go. Yeah. Oh, they're almost ready. Maybe, maybe this one's ready. Maybe one. I'd leave the other ones. Oh, yeah, we did have some tomato fall out. I see some right there on mm -hmm. the ground. Bummer. We also have this big um, teepee thing. It was kind of meant, we, I guess we were hoping for uh, beans to grow up it and the kids could play in it, but that didn't happen. So we'll probably just get rid of it, right? Mm -hmm. There's a couple cucumbers down here. Do you want to pick one of these? Right here? Oh, yeah. That one looks ready. Um, we've been doing good on cucumbers this year. I like raw okra. I gotta keep these vines going on the fence here. This isn't all natural. I've been training these vines all year long. Did, you, did we get all the peppers? I think we did, didn't we? There's some more over here. I didn't look at these. Yeah, here's one. Here's a couple. Where? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those could go a little longer, I think. Okay. And then... Might as well. Yeah, it's good for them to be, like, yeah. big. Do we have any... Oh, look. Here you go. Here's a zucchini. What's that, zucchini? I mean, uh... Um, oh. Yeah, that is, right? Yeah. Oh. Is it on the it's, plant? I mean, it's not ready yet, but... Oh. Yeah, it's on the plant. All right, great. So we have one. Uh, do we not have more? Maybe there's more in here, and we're just not seeing them. Oh, there we go. We got some squash in here. Here's some right here, babe. Yellow squash. There's one right there, and I just saw another one somewhere else. I just saw another little one up right here. There's a little one right there. See? Oh, nice. Um, one thing I remember when we had our garden last time was, you know, squash is so prolific. If you pick them little, like really little, they're really cute, like in dishes and stuff like that, and uh, and they taste and, really good too. And then too. you just keep getting more There's anyway. Like real so. tender, oh, look you know? at the aphids, I guess. Look at that. Oh man, and the ants are yeah. milking them. Yep, they are. They're like. Let me just scratch that off. Scrape that off. Oh my gosh! There's one growing. And the bees this. just love the corn flowers. But there's one growing, growing this. Oh, it's okay. You can eat it. The ants are attacking back. All right, I think uh, I think that's everything in here, right? I think so. I don't so. see anything else. Let's move on. Let's go over there and check out that little garden area over there. Yeah. All right, we're going to do a quick check on this garden. I mean, I don't think there's anything over here to harvest right now, right? No, there's not, um, but there is something kind of exciting. Yeah, go ahead. What, what do you got? Well, I planted um, this asparagus early in the spring, um, probably in May or even earlier, probably April. Um, and it took forever, maybe six weeks for it to sprout. And then um, when I was at Walmart, they were like getting rid of the, the leftover. It was like on the death rack, basically. I got some new asparagus and I planted it right here in hopes that it was still alive. Um, like and we got some good while we were gone, so, we got yeah. some new little ferns here. And so now, if you see that they're in like, kind of like a little ditch. So now I need to, you know, level the dirt out mm -hmm. and uh, and, and put some mulch yeah. and weed and everything. So. This is all uh, potatoes right here. We, have we a got a new little sprout right yeah, there. Yeah, I saw that. We have a couple blueberry bushes back here. I don't think there's any fruit left on these. We do have, oh, here's one little blueberry. We do have some other blueberry bushes. We'll show everybody in just a little bit. They're still loaded with fruit. Um, let's see, we have some uh, melons here. You can see it's going out into the yard, so we need to kind of redirect redirect this vine so I don't mow it. Do we have any melons on here? Didn't we see one Here's last one night? Right that, there we go. There's one right there. There we go. A little watermelon right there. I feel like we should have more. It looks I like, feel like we should too. A mouse got one. Where? Oh, yep. So. Do we only have that one? Yeah, so far. Okay. But, oh, here's a little oh, here's one. here's one right here, a little one. Yep, here's a, a little bigger one right here. Still teeny. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah. All right, uh, I think that's all for this garden. Should we go check on the berries? Yeah. Let's go do that. All right, we made a quick pit stop here by our red raspberries. And they're not quite ready to harvest yet, but you can see they're being well, pollinated. Bumblebee. They're being pollinated, and you can see, if you can hold that up for me, we have tons of 
berries on them. They're just yeah. not ready yet. This is the newer growth. We got berries on the older growth earlier on in the season, but uh, we just didn't, these are, we only planted them last year, so there wasn't a lot of old growth on them. Last um, fall, too. Last fall, yeah. So this is their first season. So we don't have anything here to harvest. I was just checking up on our little, which one was this? We found this at a gas station. The, um, the dewberry. The dewberry right here. We found this at a gas station uh, by the dumpster in well, South Georgia. Or no, I think it was a Hardee's or something. We asked the manager if we could have it, and they said we could. It was just a weed. Yeah, um, they had, he had it growing everywhere. Yeah, uh, it was just a weed. But uh, it's looking like it's 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 a little happier than it yeah, was earlier. It's spreading, it looks yeah. like, too. So that's good. We have a couple apples. I think these are Granny Smiths right here. They're a ways off, obviously, a Those couple months. These are Pink Lady? Yeah. They're a couple months off from... That one on the end is... Is oh, it's the Granny that's Smith. A that's, a that's a pear. Yeah, I think we have an apple on. We planted all, most of these fruit trees, or all of them last year, so they're just they're little teenager trees right now. I think we have an apple on this one, though. Here it is. Oh, man, it's like ready to pick. Just about. Look at that. Nice. Leave it a little longer. All right, okay, cool. He probably deserves that one. That's yeah. his favorite kind of apple. Yeah. We'll have to cut it up. Bye All right, guys. let's let's go check on our blueberries. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a quick check on all of our blueberry bushes. We planted these last year and these down there last year. But we have several big blueberry bushes that are still loaded with fruit right over here. Do you see any on these? You said yeah, you see a couple? Yeah, it's just like they're like the last berry of the cluster yeah. is turning blue. But there's still, you know, a handful. Our little chihuahua here, it's hilarious. She'll find the blueberries that have fallen off the plants and eat them. And we even saw her stepping, she she took a branch and stepped on it so she could start eating them off the... I think it was these right here. She ate all these on the tip. Yeah, she's ridiculous. She'll eat anything. All right, I know we have a ton over here though. Let's go ahead and show everybody these. Oh man, are we even gonna, even gonna, should we just eat them all? Oh man, look at them all. They're so good. They are. When there's so many of them. Early in the season, they weren't as juicy as they are now. Yeah. Because we weren't getting the rain. So the ones that are blue now taste really good. Where'd Chica go? What's she doing? She's eating the blueberries over there. Come here, Chica. Tons of them. It's hard for me to pick them and hold this camera without dropping them. Man, they are so good, though. They are. This is definitely money saved, though. I mean, look at them all. They're just loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. Oh my gosh, some of these are huge over here. Look at this one. Oh, it looks so good. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the camera down. How many you got so far? This is kind of a two-handed job. I'm gonna put the camera down and help you pick, and then we'll show everybody what we got when we're finished. Sounds good. Okay, we've been picking for like probably 15 or 20 minutes, and there's still some in here, but this is kind of, we're kind of reaching the end, and um, we come out here all the time and eat them anyway, so I think we can stop, but let's go ahead and show everybody what we got so far. Uh, yeah, I think I this is another big pint here. Yep, I think so. Here's the This plug. is a full pint right here. So. This is a full pint. This is a half pint. Okay, so we probably then, got like two, two and a half two and pints, and a half pints. something like that. Mm -hmm. They're so good. We actually, I didn't show it on camera, but... We had a, I guess, a bird or something eat some of um, some of our blueberries and I guess poop over here in the woods. And we had a blueberry pl plant pop up down there. There's actually a couple that popped up down here. Let's see, right here. So we picked some off of these too. And you can see they're in full shade here. Um, but they still seem to do good. Oh, I missed some. They're, st they're still doing good, which is great. Because I guess we can just let them go wild down here and keep picking. Those were sweeter than these, too. Mm -hmm. They're good. I think they're the same variety. Yep. Look, hold on. 
They're the big ones. That's from that not, one. Not too close, yeah. That's from that one. You see yeah. how like stretched out the top is, and then this one still looks like a flower. Yeah. Which I think it's the same thing. I think it's, it's just the same not variety, not as yeah. like plump. Yeah, they're good though. Maybe oh, um, maybe these got plumper than the other ones because uh, we didn't have a lot of rain early in the season. Yeah. And uh, the the you know water yeah. collected easier for. All right. Cool. Shade. I think we're done um, with the blueberries for now. We'll probably come out and pick more later. Let's go take care of the peaches. That's the big job here today, but we've, we've got to do it. They're going yep. bad. I think if we don't pick them today, they're gonna they're just going to go bad. And they're so good. Yeah. All right, we're back at the peach tree. We kind of have two jobs here. We've got to get rid of all the problem peaches um, that have this mold all over them because... Um, you know not only is this peach no good anymore but it's going to fall off the tree and attract rodents and stuff yeah. and also these spores are spreading to the they good. are i mean even yeah like, you can, you can uh, the camera it. can't pick that up but yeah but. The, it's spreading uh mold spores to all of our good peaches so we really need to eliminate those and then probably pick just about this entire tree yeah and i think the best idea is for one of us to do the bad peaches and one of us to do the clean peaches because if i have all this stuff on my hands I should be picking good peaches with it. So I get to pick good peaches? Yes, Sweet. I'll pick the bad ones. I'll pick some good peaches. Let's see. I'll probably, let's see, there's tons of them up here. Oh man, look how good they look. So this one's bad. Yeah. There's tons and tons of them though. Um, I yes. think what I'm going to do, because there's literally like thousands of them, I think I'm going to set the camera down um, and we're going to just go to town here picking some peaches. And then we'll get back with everybody uh, when we have a big haul because there's just so many of them. There's just so many of them. I don't even know where to start. And I'm going to have to move the ladder around and stuff. I got all the ones off the ground earlier. Okay, good. Is this the basket for good ones? That's good. Okay. All right, I'm going to set the camera down and get to work here. All right, so we've been picking here for not even five minutes and we already got a big basket of good ones and there's just so many more on this tree. I think we decided Annalisa was picking the bad ones off while I was picking the good ones off. But I'm gonna prune this tree so heavily uh, when we're done that I think we're just gonna leave all the bad ones on and both of us are gonna go for good ones. So I'm going to empty this basket here and she's going to wash her hands and um, maybe I need to get another like step stool or something too. And then we're just going to keep picking because there's just, it's just loaded down with them. There's peaches everywhere in here. I mean, all over the place and like all up there. There's some real good ones up there. So I'm going to put this down and um, reposition. All right. I got a different ladder and I'm up here in the tree. And there's just so many good ones up here. Hey, can you come over here real quick? Yeah. And take these from me? Yep. As I pick them. Oh, there's so many good ones like those. I don't really have a good place to put them up here. There's one. Oop, got a branch with that. We're running out of containers. Yeah, I know. There's so many good ones. Look at that one right there, right above your head. Oh man, that's, right like, there? that's like the prime. I think I can get it. Yeah. I was jump. Oh man, look at that. That's just beautiful. I love them with the leaves. <laughs> yeah, I know. They look awesome. All right, I'm going to have to put the camera down though. I just thought I'd get up here in the tree. You can see there's plenty that have problems up here. But then there's still a bunch of really good ones. So we're just going to keep picking here. All right, I think, I think we're done. Uh, we got a whole bunch of peaches a whole bunch of them probably like 20 pounds of peaches and we actually did pretty good our garden uh put off a lot of stuff for us while we were gone oh there's more peaches under there even yeah. um picked those. yeah we got some peppers um lettuce tomatoes. Couple tomatoes the kids ate most of the tomatoes okra um we got a couple pints of blueberries too 
But I guess the bumper crop for today would be the peaches. peaches. And uh, there's still some good peaches on this tree. A lot of what is left has problems. And we were discussing it while we were uh, wrapping it up here. I think our strategy is going to be this tree is, has never been pruned. We've owned this place for 10 years and it's never been pruned properly. It needs to be cut back big time. So I and think some what. Some of these branches, like this big one right here, snapped already. Yeah, it did. So if we could cut that out of there, yeah. that'll open it up for us to see better. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, probably not today because we're we've been picking stuff all morning, but maybe tomorrow morning. Um, we're going to start hacking this tree away limb by limb, and then we'll go through each limb and see if there isn't any, Let like, good stuff yeah, on. good, good peaches left on yeah. it. But I mean, I, we, I think we picked, I mean, we picked, we went through here pretty methodically and got, oh, I still see more. I know. I, I mean, I, look at them. I think there's a lot more there is a ton more. But well, we got to stop at some point. But we I gotta, think if we trim the tree, we'll be able to really get everything. I else. think so. I think so. So overall, I'm pretty happy with our harvest here. We went out, we were at, we were gone for several weeks and obviously we lost some stuff to nature, but uh, we have a good amount there. And yeah, not um, a lot of weeds. Because not of a lot mulch, of weeds. Yeah, we did. Yeah, nice. we did mulch. Um, We've discussed this in some other videos. It's certainly cost us extra money to do that, but because we uh, have gardens and, um, you know, kind of homestead activities in two states, uh, 600 miles apart from each other. It's it was a help for us. So, um, definitely but I, um, gave us some extra time. Yeah. So, all right, all right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed our um, little garden harvest here today. If you have any questions or comments about any of the uh, gardens, uh, you know, with any of the plants in our gardens we showed you, um, or our fruit trees, um, just post down below. Till next time, everybody out there, take care.